Hello YouTube, this is the 11th and last video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be talking about uh, using forms uh, with JavaScript and getting their values and kind of working with them. We're going to be doing a validation tutorial with JavaScript in the advanced series, so I'm not going to go that in depth into forms, but I'm going to show you the basics of how to get information from them and kind of handle it. Um, so I'm going to make a few inputs here. Name radios are not. We're not going to do radios because they're a little more challenging. Um, Select. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to do for this video. Get some options. Let's select option one. can store all of these um, inputs into variables var select and I guess we just say text is equal to document Select. Okay, now we get to the good stuff. So we have all these um, form elements, and then we have them saved into JavaScript objects. Um, we can log out any of their values by logging out text dot value. We use the dot value method. Here. 
didn't wait for the window to load as usual. So we got the value that we wanted. Now we can log out the checkbox value run. That the way checkboxes work is if they are checked um, when they're sent through to be validated via PHP, they'll have a they'll be set or not set in a variable, the poster get variable, so um, we're not going to be working with that check or uncheck. That doesn't really make a difference here, but um, anyway, same thing for text area, and the same thing for select, I'm not going to write that one out because it's kind of a waste of time. Um, and now I'm going to show you two events that are commonly used with um, inputs or form elements, rather. So we can do text dot um, say add event. Let's see. We'll wait for it to focus. Create our own function here, and we'll do one for one for blur. Sorry, I'm kind of mumbling to myself. Hopefully, you can hear me. Okay, so when it focuses, say console focus. and then we'll echo out the value. that so the um, focus event we have here will be called when the event is focused on either by clicking or by pressing tab to select it kind of when that so it's focused right now uh, these elements are all going to have kind of that glow around them when they're focused and then when you click outside of it it blurs the focus leaves it, so it's called blur. I don't know why they use those keywords, but, um, or those names for the events, but that's kind of how it works. So those blur and um, focus events get triggered with any element, but they're most commonly used with inputs. Um, as you can see, it only gets triggered on the input because that's the, or the text input, because that's the only one that I added the event listener to and you can you can add it to our text area by just simply changing the object that it's added to and we can change the value of this this is the value and it echoes out the updated value or logs the updated value um, so that's it for this tutorial and for the series. Um, in the next, in the advanced uh, series, we'll be talking about a lot of topics that most people know when it comes to basics of JavaScript, but they're kind of too complicated technically uh, for a beginner to um, totally get the gist of. So those will be in our advanced tutorial rather than in the basics tutorial. And we'll be talking about some more specific projects like making slideshows, working with Google Charts, um, some form validation stuff, some uh, some like plugins, some jQuery stuff maybe. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a long series, but we, we're, we should be learning a lot. Um, yeah, so that's it for this series. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.